under the lights here in Staffordshire. Ipswich Town visit the home of Burton Albion with Kieran McKenna's men looking to brew up another storm following their dazzling performance against MK Dons on Saturday. The Super Blues have made a terrific start to the Skybet League One campaign and arrive at the Pirelli Stadium currently unbeaten, having recorded two wins and a draw from their opening three fixtures. Tom Hamer is famed for his long throw-ins and it is the Burton number 37 who's giving himself a, a run-up here down the Burton right-hand side to launch it into the Ipswich penalty area. In it comes, Lee wins the initial header and the Ipswich haven't cleared and it's off the crossbar and then turned wide by Connor Shaughnessy and a very early opportunity for Burton Albion. His more familiar centre-back role and Joe Powell has come out to the right-hand side as Walton's put under a bit of pressure and then he moves it out to the Ipswich right. Luco almost loses his footing in the field but looks to release Ladapo and Ladapo might be through on goal here. It's Freddie Ladapo, chance and it's just wide. Well, a great move from Ipswich Town, a really lovely threaded through ball from Sean Luco. Forward taking the pressure off to the defence but they've rolled out again and they're looking to play. I, I love this from Ipswich, I think it's superb. Edmondson with it. First time ball from Evans out to Greg Lee. Morsi now will hook one down the line and finds Harness. Harness might have given it straight to a Hadme here, though. It's a Hadme. It's a great save by Christian Walton. Now here's Keeler Dunn. Joe Powell. Forced back to Hamer. Pressured by Ladapo, but it's fallen nicely for Joe Powell, and he's got Smith to his right-hand side. Here's Johnny Smith running at Greg Lee. Delivers in towards the box. And Keeler Dunn has somehow put it over the bar. Yeah, brilliant again from Jackson. Oshelarja left-footed, looking for Kayla Dunn. Morsi tries to win the tackle, but Kayla Dunn comes away with it, and it's a, a nice ball through to Hamer on the Burton left-hand side. Now it's with Smith. Plays it into Borthwick Jackson, who was on his toes, but it's back to Smith. He'll try his luck over the crossbar. Dangerous move put together by Burton there. Smith struck it well. Jackson with the chance to open his legs and run at Hamer. Tries to deliver in, but it blocks off Hamer. Falls for Luko. Luko moves it inside to Lee Evans. And now the Nigerian gets it back, threads it through to Marcus Harness inside the Burton penalty area. Aluko twisting and turning. Jackson tries to play the cross goal. Still in the penalty area. Harness moves it out to Danassian. Evans with the effort, and it's a good save by Sinisalo down to his left-hand side. There's more space, uh, and both the tens are getting on the ball, which is when we hurt teams. And the Blue Army away to our right-hand side have responded to that. They're the ones making the noise inside the Pirelli Stadium. Burton Albion nil, Ipswich Town nil. Hamer good. will be pressed by Jackson and it's a loose ball through to Freddy Ladapo. Ladapo with the chance. Just tried to slide it through the legs of Sinisalo. But he can't find the finish. And Hadme keeps it in play on this near side. And now Wolfenden, loose from him, is with Johnny Smith. His first touch takes it wide into a Hadme. Great save from Walton. Walton with his left foot outstretched. Keeps the score at nil-nil. I cannot believe Burton Albion haven't scored there. On the ball, finds Morsi. He's got Greg Lee moving down the Ipswich left-hand side with a chance to run at Joe Powell. Lee inside to Harness. Pocket of space, 20 yards out. Harness with the effort. Yes, and it's in the back of the net. And Marcus Harness against his former side. Slides with a big knee slide towards the Ipswich travelling support. Ipswich have the lead. Oh, what a fantastic strike that is from Marcus Harness. Yeah, fantastic. Again, Lee's kept the width. You keep the width, you make space for the tens. It's gone into Harness's feet. He's done a lovely little drop of the shoulder, come inside and got a shot away. It's a greasy surface. It's a powerful low shot and it goes in the back of the net. Like I fully expect, and I don't like to jinx it, but we should drive on now. If we can keep getting the width, we'll go on and win this game. Standing over it, the former West Ham man. It will be Powell to deliver left-footed towards the back post, and it's headed straight at Christian Walton. I think it was John Brayford who rose highest at the weekend. Come on, Walton, come and claim it. Sinisalo, the goalkeeper, up as well. In it comes, testing corner, and it's... There goes the full-time whistle, and Ipswich Town hold on to beat Burton Albion here at the Pirelli Stadium. A dogged defensive display. Arguably not one of Ipswich's finest performance.
But Marcus Harness's goal against his former club on the hour mark is the difference. And it's three wins in their last three in the league for Ipswich Town.